Hey there, I'm Felicia from Buy Your Lane for Cash. If you feel stuck with an unwanted property, call or text me 313-307-6737 and we'll get you a no obligation cash offer for your land. So in today's land blog video, we are going to look at what to do with inherited land in Arizona. When you inherit land after losing a friend or family member, it can be really overwhelming, especially when you add the complications of probate or shared inheritance among multiple beneficiaries like siblings. If you've inherited land and have no need for the property, you're likely considering cashing in on the inheritance. Once you've ensured that the title is transferred into your name correctly, and that there are no encumbrances from any liens or debts, you'll have a much better picture of the potential profits you can realize from the sale of the land. You should go into this venture with realistic expectations, however, as land typically doesn't sell as quickly as a house would. In 2002, the average number of days on market for a piece of land was just over 210 days. Okay, so steal yourself and set realistic expectations. So once you've cleared the land of overgrowth, made sure the ground is cleaned up, appealing to buyers, no trash, no leftover structures, your next step will be to determine the method of selling the land that works best for your situation. One of these methods could be family. So one thing you could do is provide the option to sell the land to interested family members as a quick way to locate a buyer. You might not have any desire to hold on to the land that you've inherited, but it might mean something. There might be a personal connection for someone else in your family circle, and they might want to keep that land within the family. Family members often have expectations of special pricing, okay? So you may not get market value by following this option. In addition, you'll want to consider the long-term ramifications to your relationship. Should there be any feelings of, you know, it will that linger after the sale on the part of either parties. You don't want to sell grandpa's property to your cousin and then your cousin feels like you ripped them off or you charged too much and that that kind of stuff can split up them families. You can also try selling the land for sale by owner, that's FSBO, selling it yourself. Um, often landowners who decide to take on the job of selling the land themselves soon realize that they're in over their heads uh, before you list your inherited property, you need to make sure it's cleaned up both physically and I'll say digitally from a documentation standpoint. So that means no outstanding liens, no outstanding taxes, no encumbrances, and that stuff can be really messy to sort through. As well as, you know, the physical aspects, that's a lot of work to clear a property, remove any old broken structures, garbage, if you wanted to clear a bit of brush or some trees, you can pay upwards of $1,200 for that kind of service. In and around Prescott, you can expect to pay over, or you can expect to pay around $1,200 for that kind of service. Marketing in the tech savvy world of online listings and placing your land on the right websites can be really expensive. In addition, buyers are likely to bypass photographs that aren't of professional quality. Think of when you're scrolling through Facebook Marketplace and you see two pictures of the same car, but one is beautifully photographed, it's been cleaned, it's been waxed, it's shiny, and the other one looks like it took a mud bath. You're not even gonna look at that second one, right? So looks do really matter in the land of marketing and, and, sell, and sales. Once you've received an offer, negotiating with buyers can be really difficult and the paperwork can be complicated. And don't forget those closing expenses. So you may not want to list it yourself or sell it to a family member. In that case, another thing you could do with inherited land in Arizona is to call on a professional real estate agent and they're gonna help you with marketing, negotiations, and paperwork, all that stuff that's associated with selling land. But of course, with this, you'll have to pay all the out-of-pocket costs associated with the listing, and of course, a commission for their help. If you are looking for an easy, no-work option, you can do a direct sale of your inherited land 
to a professional investor like my company at Buyerland for cash. With us, you don't have to worry about paying any commissions, no complicated or stressful negotiations. The number that we offer you, that cash offer, that's the number that you get. You No surprise charges or any costs from you. We can pay all the closing and transfer costs. So why not call on the experts at my company to help you out? We'll get you a no obligation cash offer for your land. We'll take care of all the legal paperwork so you don't have to do a thing. If this is something that interests you, call or text us 313-307-6737 and we'll see what we can do to help you out. I look forward to hearing from you. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. That way the very first to know when a new land blog video is published. Thanks again. I'll talk to you soon.